Well, after six or so months, it's uh, finally finished. So, the uh, what you can see is the battery caddy. It uh, has little stabilizers that uh, hold it up when the batteries are in place. So you can take this to the airfield. It has the um, the ring to hook it, secure it when I'm driving down the road. The the battery storage is interchangeable. So you can go to the airfield with all your charged batteries. When you're at the airfield, you can take all your batteries out and put them up on top of this, uh, this platform here. And the battery indicators will tell you what the status is of your batteries. So you can throw them up here, fly them, drop them back in there, flip these to spent. If you don't fly them all, let's say crash, you can put the batteries back in, you know they're charged. Um, I normally store to charge when I go home anyway, so um, thinking I'll use these in a half mast position in order to show that they're uh, that their storage charged. For carrying this around, I tried to make it so that it would hang at the side easily, not rub against your legs. Um, this gets pretty heavy when it's fully laden with batteries, so this doesn't rub on you, and you don't have to lean way out to hold it. It hangs naturally from your shoulder. That was, that was important. It has just enough space for tools in here to hold just about, well, it has everything that I need when I go to the airfield, so that works pretty well. Now on the battery charger, um, Put these back over. The battery platform holds the batteries up so they can be charged. There we go. And so you can charge up to six batteries at a time up here. There's room inside. In here, there are our tool trays. I'm thinking about uh, putting some neoprene, a piece of neoprene in there just to hold uh, the tools so they don't make a lot of noise when you're driving down the road. This has an, uh, an extension handle to make it easier when you're at the airfield. The, uh, ABS bottom on here is uh, designed so that when you're at the airfield and you get mud on it, there's not a problem. It's also removable. So if you get it all mudded up at the airfield, you undo this, slide the bottom off, and you can hose it down and not worry about your electronics getting messed up. has the second charging system down here so you can charge six more batteries down here um, in addition if you're at the airfield and your cell phones getting uh, wiped out you can plug your car charger in here and this goes in here and holds your uh, Hold your phone in place while you charge it. There is a tool tray up here. I may put some of that uh, what do you call it? the uh, adhesive back neoprene in there as well. There's a little Velcro near the front of it so my battery checker can just be secured in the front and not fly around. 
and I haven't decided yet if I want to do a whole lot more with the Velcro. Um, this all shows up. And then it has the uh, 110 plug on the front with a switch on the front. It has a 110 plug on the back, so if you're running off the generator, and when I'm in my office, I want to plug it in on the front, but when I'm at the airfield, I want to use the generator. If, uh, the, if you've got deep cycle batteries, which I happen to have at my airfield, there are alligator clips in here, and got some heavy gauge uh, wire, and then I can, I can uh, hook these up to the deep cycle battery leads. There's plenty of ventilation. You can see the uh, you can see all these holes here. They're half-inch holes directed down, so you can't see inside the case. Um, the power supply is right here. The handles are fairly even between the front and the back for lifting this, so that. You can get it out of your car. It gets very heavy when it's laden down with batteries once again, which is why it'll be moving around a lot like this at the airfield until it gets situated to where it's going. Um, I think that is the uh, majority of the functionality. Um, six months. Um, pretty happy with how it came out. Uh, that's all.